Hello friends, my name is Amalu Zagri and you are watching me on my YouTube channel and today we are going to discuss about defect or bug life cycle. Now let's see what it is. When a tester finds a bug or a defect, then its status is new. Then a project manager will analyze the defect and will see if it is a valid defect. If no, then its status is rejected. If yes, then it has been checked that if it is already reported or not. If this bug is already reported, then its status is duplicate. If not, then it has been checked that whether this bug is in current scope or not. It means that uh, is it okay to fix this bug in the next build or next version of this software? If yes, then it is its status is deferred it means that it is not in the current scope so its status is deferred now if it is in scope right then developer starts fixing the code right where the bug is then its status is in progress when the code is fixed that is bug is fixed its status is called fixed the bug status is fixed then now it is given to the tester and tester retest the code right if the test is passed then the status of that bug is closed and if not then the status is reopen now again it is reassigned to the developer and it starts fixing the code and the cycle continues Now let's see what is retesting, right? Actually, this is a question asked in an interview when you are being asked about the bug life cycle, then what is the difference between retesting and regression testing? So retesting is done to ensure that the fixed bug is working fine or not. Whereas regression testing is when a bug is fixed, it should not affect the other functionalities of the software. That is to ensure that whether the fixed bug has made any side effect or not, regression testing is done. So uh, then the next interview question is if suppose uh, the same bug comes once again, then where do you maintain it? Do you write it in the same excel sheet or you maintain another excel sheet? So this is quite tricky interview question. Uh, because recently we have seen just look at the bottom of this um, bug life cycle uh, if the bug comes once again means fixed bug comes once again it means that uh, the status of that bug was fixed and now it has comes once again it means that it is reopened so no need to maintain it in the another excel sheet just change the status of that bug to reopen that's it so this was all about the bug life cycle, bug or defect life cycle. Uh, if you have any more queries, please post it on my forum. That is forums.scriptinglogic.com. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Uh, that is youtube.com slash And you can also like my Facebook page. That is facebook.com slash scriptinglogic. Thank you very much.